What did I swap out to be able to make my Red Truck Journal? For the November Dollar Store Christmas Junk Journal Challenge. And then we are going to add edges to the journal pages. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. And you'll see several people are already changing out their items for the Dollar Store Christmas Junk Journal Challenge. And I have changed out some of mine. I do have my papers are just about ready to go into the signatures. But I did want to show you that I changed out some items. So I changed out my glitter glue for my old standby. The fingernail polish. This was more sparkly. Um, I didn't even open this. But I just, the more I thought about it, I was like, yeah, I... I, I want I want my sparkly um, so I switched out these labels for this set of gift tags okay so I'm going to be using these gift tags throughout instead of these labels and I have traded out these bows I finally found the um, the ribbon the red truck ribbon so um, at Dollar Dollar General. So um, I traded out these napkins for this note paper. Yay! And look, it's got a ribbon on it. These are from these are from my stash. They're Dollar Dollar General from my stash, but they will give some more great color and I get a red ribbon. Yay! So there's that. And then, let's see, one more, one more thing. I traded out the tickets and I put in the bling. So we have the red bling. Um, I'm actually using, I'm just going to use this little piece. It's the same thing, but it's just a small piece of it. I'm, I don't think I'm going to need the whole big gigantic thing. So... So those are my fifth my items. So we have fingernail polish, the red truck ribbon. This is two different um, note papers. I was hoping they would have that again this year. Um, bling. These and there's um, 18 of them. There's two of each. Uh, the these napkins. Okay. This note paper, I've been using this. I, I coffee dyed um, several of them. I still have, so this is my book, and I still have the, the jacket that I can use. And then these were some of the uh, packaging. And then I have, this is my papers that I still have. And this is the cover, and I did I did use some of the cardboard from the back of this to reinforce my um, the spine of my journal. So let me go ahead and I'll show you. So those are my items. We should count, huh? Papers one, book is two, note paper is three. Napkins four, these are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, <laughs> twelve, um, basket papers. 13, what am I missing? Book, paper, napkins, fingernail polish, red truck. Do you wrap red truck? Oh, burlap and lace. Oh, and the tags and stickers that we've already been using. And they, <laughs> things are all over the place. They are right here. So those are my 15 um, items, 
my $15 store items that I'm working with and I'm making my red truck journal. So here we'll put these all in here and then we'll put the wrapping papers back in the wrapping paper section. Okay, so here is my cover. Here's my cover and it is a book that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So I have decorated it. Um, I've just collaged on it. I showed this in a, in a video already. Um, this is the fingernail, glittery fingernail polish. Everywhere the green napkin is, I'll have fingernail polish. I made some um, holly. So there's that. This is the side. Got the lace on the side. Got the tissue paper on the inside. I ended up using this on the inside as well. And I made a tuck pocket here um, and then I'll have I have another piece and it's a top tuck and then I added part of the napkin there I absolutely love the cover I think it turned out really great now this is interesting because to do this there's a whole lot of gluing in here this is going to be my inside cover I have Franken pages in here this is a pocket this is um, tissue paper, and I put it on right onto the coffee dyed paper. We have a belly band here. Here I have just the wrapping paper, and I've made a pocket. And we have a little pocket here. This is um, coffee dyed paper and the checked basket liner paper. And then we have... The, the red truck and then this is the other sides of all of those pages so we have a little tuck there our double pockets that we made in the napkin video here and I'll put the napkin video in the description box for this so that is signature one Signature 2 has a Franken page as the beginning. Then it has some noisy paper, which is the basket liner. We have a pocket with some basket liner edge and a little tiny pocket. Here's our deer paper, and it's coffee date paper lined. This is just wrapping paper. This is a pocket, and it's coffee paper. Um... It's the basket paper with coffee dyed paper. And this is our inside of this signature. I think this is my favorite page. I really like this. And you'll see on several of the edges, we've taken pieces of the basket line paper and we have added that to the edge. And so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna add some edges before we put these away. So here we go. Okay, so let's see. I think we'll add I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to add edge to the that paper. And so what it is, it is from the basket liner. I'm going to grab a piece of basket liner. You get a lot of this in there. Okay, so there's a piece of basket liner. You know, if you have a little basket of french fries. This is the liner that they use. Okay. There they are. Scissors. Okay. Okay. 
So I've already done this a few times in here. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this right here at the edge. The first ones were scrap paper that I had. And um, I liked it. So now I've been cutting some. Okay. So we don't want it on this page because I, I don't want it to mess with this. So we are going to do it on the inside page. And we are going to take our glue and just, oh, you know what? Let's put it under paper. We're just going to take our glue and put it along the edge here. And then we're just going to start at the top and we're going to scrunch it. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. You're just going to scrunch it on your glue, ruffling the paper. Okay, we've got a little more room down here. And then you just go back in and you can pull your edge out you can move it around a little so that you get have more um, more ruffle and you want to work a little depending on what glue you're using you know, if you're using fabric tack, I probably wouldn't use fabric tack for this because it will dry too fast. Okay, so there, that gives me a ruffle out of the edge. And then I'm just going to let that dry. And that's what we get from the other side. Okay, and then, so that is one edge that we can add using my 15 items okay here we go this is what I wanted um, so see this one only had the front one and so this will give us another one with a little more out there and then we're going to want to do one more and I'll do that I won't we, I won't waste your time we won't do that right here but I'll probably do that right here so the next thing I'm going to add is I've taken the lace off of my lace and burlap so this is how it comes and I've been taking the lace off to use it and it just has the perfect place to cut it right down the middle so we're going to cut it right down the middle right down the middle okay there we go and I'm going to look at this and I want I want to add some lace so I'm going to add it onto this page right here so when I take these out, I'll lay them like this. Now sometimes I do my signatures and then put them in, especially if I'm sewing. Um, but I don't always do my signatures first. Okay, so I'm just putting, gosh, I got shaky hands today, you guys. So there we go and just going to put this on here at the edge. Okay. Now remember your journal for this challenge is your basic journal. Okay. Because you're probably 
going to add items to it, like pictures and things like that. So you don't have to super decorate the whole thing. Even though I probably will. Because <laughs> that's just how I am. Okay, I'm taking this packaging and I'm going to put it here. Just so I don't ruin <laughs> my journal. So there's that one. And then I want it on this side also. It just happens to work out that it's the same <laughs> the same um, thing. It's that doesn't always work out that way. Okay, so or the same paper, the same page. Okay. So I'm using uh, you can use any glue and any variety of glues in your, your journal. So technically, I guess I could come back in and use the glitter glue by the way that I said the rules, huh? Um, huh. Interesting. But I really like what I've got going with the... Um, okay, so we'll put this. That one will help us there. And then this one will help us. We need another one, you guys. Nope. Okay, I don't know if you can get an idea of, there we go. So we have some pretty stuff going on on our edge here with the lace and with the, um, the checked from the basket. And um, let's see. Yeah, so that's that's adding some lace and the checked to the edge along with showing you how I changed out what I was using. And um, I'm really happy with what I have to use. I'm going to be cutting this other one in half. And um, that's why I was, I was so excited to find this burlap and lace. There's just so many things that I'm able to do with it. Oh my gosh. I used the burlap on the cover. There we go. And so I'll be adding lace to a couple of places back here. And um, I already have the, the gingham going on back there. So... I have another little thing that I did with the burlap. And um, so I cut off the wired edge with the wrapping around it. Okay. And, you know, because we want to be able to use every little thing. And that gives us some wire. Yay. Okay. So we are going to strip our um our burlap okay so oh, sometimes <laughs> that one edge okay so there i have you see how i have that line and i'm going to make another edge using the burlap okay and I'm gonna put it on this one this piece here and so we're gonna need this under it okay oh and so let's go ahead we're gonna just go ahead and 
put the line down and then put this at the edge. There we go. And then we'll cut this and we'll wait for that to dry. And so this is what I did on the other one. What happened was I put the, the glue here and um, the thing, what I didn't want to cover the, the deer face. So when you open this here, you see how you see the deer face? Well, I, um, when I was playing with it and I wanted lace to come off the edge, and um, if I'd have put it here, it wouldn't come off the edge. So I was like, ah, oh, what am I going to do? So I added burlap. Burlap edge. One in each signature. So there we've got that. And we'll need that. Okay, so let's put this one under. And we'll put this one over. Okay. And continue. I, this is really fun. I'm, you guys, I'm really getting really close to being finished. Yay. So there you go. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video playlist in the description box below. And don't forget to say hi. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.